In this video, I want to spend a few minutes to talk about the value of the MTA certification and why you should consider them if you're new to IT or looking to make the transition to IT with a very little to no experience. So when we think about entry level certifications, there are the CompTIA certifications, which I think are wonderful and great. And then there's the MTA certifications. Now, when we talk about CompTIA, CompTIA is a vendor neutral organization. So their certifications don't pertain to any specific vendors such as Microsoft or Apple or Cisco or so forth. In terms of their certification, it's more so general concepts and theories in my personal experience. Uh, and they're great. I am certified in multiple CompTIA certifications. So I am Project Plus certified. I am Security Plus certified. I was Network Plus certified, but I let that lapse because I have a graduate degree in IT computer networking. So I didn't really feel that there was a need to maintain the Network Plus, but I was certified in Network Plus as well. For the MTA certifications, I just recently learned about these about a year ago. I didn't even know they existed when I first started getting into IT. And if I had known, I probably would have sought out and passed multiple different MTA certifications because they teach you a lot of information that pertains specifically to Microsoft that other certifications don't. So for example, looking at this screen, if we look at the screen and the diagram that I'm sharing, this is from Starport, which is a partner with Pearson View and Microsoft. And they have this diagram they put together and I think it's really great. If we look at the MTA tracks, there's an infrastructure track. So this is to build a career in desktop or server infrastructure or private cloud computing. There is a database track. So if you wanna be in database administration or business intelligence, you can go that route. And there's a software track if you want to be a developer, whether you want to be a window app developer or a web developer, there's that route as well. Now we're gonna focus on the infrastructure track because that's really the area that is my expertise. And for this course, our course is for the 98367 exam, which is a security fundamentals exam. Now when we look at this exam, what makes it great is that it not only talks about and teaches and, and prepares you to understand basic fundamental IT security concepts, theories, and strategies, but it also talks about how those apply and how you would use them in a Windows environment. And in 2018, and that would mean talking about Windows 10 for our client operating systems and Windows Server 2016 for our server operating systems. So if we can compare that to the Security Plus, it's not going to have you specifically focus on learning Windows 10 or Windows Server 2016 for the certification, but MTA does. And that's a great thing about it. So if you go into an interview, you can say, well, I have experience working with Windows 10. I have experience working with Windows Server 2016 because of MTA certification. I had to learn this stuff, so I know this stuff. And if we look at these different four certifications, the 349 exam, that's for Windows 10. The 365 exam, that would be for Windows Server 2016. And the 366, that would be just like the security one, and that is for Windows 10 and Windows Server 2016. So these give you hands-on experience because when you prepare for them, you need to play around in the operating systems. You need to know how to do different things in the operating systems and how the operating systems will work as they pertain to these certifications. So that's why I think these certifications are great. Now, in addition to all of that, now that I have my 98366 exam, the networking fundamentals exam down here, now that I've had it on Udemy for quite some time, I've had numerous students tell me that they're taking this certification course to earn their MTA certification as a prerequisite to get into a program. Some of them are trying to get into Western Governors University's undergraduate IT program for their bachelor's degree. And I have lots of military personnel that have recently started coming to my class to take that class and pass the certification as a prerequisite to get into a Microsoft, it's called the MSSA program for military personnel to help train them and transition them into IT 
to get them a civilian job once they transition out of the military. I think it's a great program. And for that program, the MSSA program, you either have to have an MTA certification or CompTIA certification. And so I have a lot of students coming to my course just to earn their MTA so they can get into that program and move forward with Microsoft and further their career. Now, in addition to all that, what's the other benefit? Well, if we look at this diagram, you'll notice that it goes from MTA to MCSA to MCSE. So the MCSA certifications for the database track and the infrastructure track, this would be considered an intermediate level certification. So the MTA is an entry level for beginners. You're in those, you have a working knowledge, a basic understanding of these concepts. But once you get to the MCSA level, these certifications are a lot more difficult. I mean, it's not uncommon for people to have to take these exams one, two, three plus times. Not everybody passes them on their first attempt. And this is, you know, if we think about it from a, a construction perspective, you know, this would be kind of like a tradesperson, somebody that, that's been in the field for maybe three to five years and they're looking to move up. And so that would be the MCSA and you would earn that certification. And then if you wanted to become an expert, you would then move up to the MCSE level, which is their expert level at Microsoft for these different tracks for the infrastructure and the database track. And, and so that again, if we just try to jump directly into the MCSA certification uh, courses and preparing for those with no experience, it's going to be a lot more difficult than for those of us that, let's say, for example, we're doing the MCSA for Windows Server 2016. Well, it's going to be easier for people that have gone through the MTA certification because they have that foundation in place that's going to help them. Whereas somebody that just jumps into these certifications without that, it's going to be a lot more difficult in addition to all the other benefits that I talked about previously. So anyways, this lecture ended up being a bit longer than I initially planned for it to be, but I just wanted to make sure I shared with you why I think the MTA certifications are great and why you should consider getting certified in MTA certifications for a plethora of reasons. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys at the next video. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.